Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing an empties video. Yeah, there's more house stuff in here, so... Here you go. If you guys want to see what I finished in the month of April, and like the half of March, I think that video went up like mid-March. Anyway, just keep watching. Get the house things out of the way. In the same way that I love the toilet bowl cleaner that I talked about last time. I also love the wipes that go along with it. I like that there's no bleach in these, but they clean nicely and I, they don't leave a residue on my hand. I've used some wipes, I'm going to talk about in a second, and they, I feel like I have to wash the counter down afterwards because there's, I feel like there's soap or residue left behind. I, I don't want that. So I love the Clorox, Sentiva, the Tuscan, Lavender, and Jasmine. It's my favorite. Seventh generation disinfecting wipes, lemongrass citrus scent. No. No. Did not like these one bit. First of all, the scent did not smell like lemongrass and citrus. It smelled like. I don't know what it smelled like. It did not smell good. And these are the wipes that I feel like I have to go down the counter and wash them after I've used a wipe on them because it, they feel soapy or like there's a residue. I did not care for these. One iota. And there's only 35 wipes in here and there's 70 in the other and I'm pretty sure that this is at least the same price if not more than the other wipes and I much prefer these. I know this is a more natural brand. No. Okay, another weird toilet bowl cleaner. This is the Method Antibac Spearmint Antibacterial Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Okay, first of all, I love the smell of mint so much. Like spearmint, oh, I love that smell. I got this in my Grove Collaborative order, and uh, I have since seen this at Target. So I would buy this. I really liked the spearmint scent. I do wish that it were tinted a little bit just because sometimes I will put the toilet bowl cleaner in the toilet and let it sit and then forget that I put toilet bowl cleaner in it and then someone goes to the bathroom and I haven't actually like scrubbed the toilet so I do wish it were slightly tinted but that's really not that big of a deal I just need to remember to clean the toilet after I put the cleaner in. a new thing that's actually not empty but I put it in a different dispenser. This is from Target. I bought this this week actually and I've used it a few times and so far I really like it. It uh, bubbles nicely and the bubbles last. The one I was using before, I think that's in here too. This, this is what I was using before, the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Lemon Verbena Dish Soap. I felt like the bubbles on this dissipated very quickly and then the water didn't feel like there was soap in it. It just felt like there was food residue in it. Do you know what I mean? So I didn't really like this. I have another one that I, another scent that I will use up, but I didn't really care for this one. This is another Grove collaborative thing that I had purchased in my initial order, but I can get this anywhere. Target, Meyer, I think Home Depot even sells this. Like I can get this anywhere if I did like it, but I, I didn't really. This, this Everspring is a new brand at Target. Um, so far I like it. I've used it every day since I've purchased it and the bubbles last. It doesn't feel oily or um, you know, residue-y on my hands. It's not tested on animals. It's biodegradable formula. And this was $2.79, which is a really good price for a more, you know, slightly more natural, earth-friendly product. I thought. And this is the uh, lavender and bergamot scent. Technically not empty, but I have a method pump that I like to use for dish soap, so I just put it in the fresh spring garden. These are from Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works soaps are my favorite. The foaming hand soaps are lovely. They feel hydrating somehow, and they don't feel like you have to use a ton of soap. They feel very rich, but not heavy, you know, your hands so clean if you use them. This is Dewy Pear Leaf Apple Blossom and Cedar Scent. It was lovely. My favorite is the Wild Passion Flower. This is Passion Flower and Water Hyacinth. 
pretty sure this is long discontinued. I have two bottles of this still in my closet that I'm hoarding and I will bring it out every once in a while <laughs> to use because it smells so nice and it stays on your hands. Some of these I can smell on my hands after I've washed it, but this one I can smell on your hands, on your hands. If you come out of the bathroom, I can tell if you've washed your hands when the soap is in there because it smells just fragrant and aromatic and <sighs> it smells so good. <laughs> so I hoard this one. I would 100% repurchase it if I could. Let's get this for. The Ulta On The Go Cleansing Makeup Remover Towelettes. Uh, these were uh, in like a gift with purchase bag. I just use these for swatches. I don't think that they are amazing for swatches even, so I, I can't imagine they work well on my eyes. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the pattern. <gasps> wow, that's beautiful. <sighs> it's like not really a pattern. Well, kind of. The top part is. Sorry, am I blocking the camera? Yeah, I feel like you're doing that on purpose. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. You didn't mean to walk in front of the camera and put your big old head and hand in front of it? <laughs> so these I wouldn't purchase for makeup removal on my face, but they're okay for swatches. Uh, the La Roche Posay Effaclar Clarifying Oil-Free Cleansing Towelettes. Okay, these say It says, peel able to open, gently massage over your face and neck, no rinse needed, avoid the eye area, in all caps. 100% avoid the eye area. These burn, burn your eyes. I wouldn't repurchase these because, you know, I take off my makeup with a micellar water and then sometimes I, you know, just take a pad and kind of go over everything not thinking even though I know it said to stay away from the eyes it's just a habit no they burn like have to rinse your eyes with water burn not a big fan of I have two of the elf makeup remover cleansing cloths I like these again I mainly use these for swatches um, but I have used them for my face and eyes and they're fine for that they're not my preferred makeup remover for that but they do work and I love them for swatches because they're so I think this is from the dollar spot I'm not really sure it kind of looks like it is the label it just says it's a pink peony scent it smelled pretty nice it was a three dollar candle so it wasn't groundbreaking but it burned actually very well I was quite surprised at how well this burned and it did have a nice peony scent to it but it burned right down to the you know little nub there uh, I, I'm pretty sure I got that at the dollar spot I don't know. Um, this is a Dollar Tree candle, and I mainly bought it because the packaging was pretty. This doesn't have like a scent. Oh, Brazilian Sunrise. But this is pretty unremarkable. I'm not surprised. I bought it mainly for the packaging. And I, you know, just to see. Because this guy is shocking. And this is a Dollar Tree candle. This is from the Rose Collection. This one is Hydrangea and Hyacinth, and this candle was kind of amazing. I bought it from Dollar Tree, so it was a dollar. It has this cute little lid, so it looks, you know, like this guy. The scent throughout this was great. I could smell it throughout my house, but it wasn't overpowering. It was just a nice hint of Hyacinth and Hydrangea, and it burned forever forever. Every time I went to light it, I thought, oh, this isn't going to light. The wick has burned down. There's not enough to light. It won't light. And then it lit. And it finally just, and it finally gave up. There's a little bit of wax around the sides, but not as much as it's looking, actually. I was so impressed with this candle. I do have one more. I think I bought these last year or so. I don't know if this is a regular thing that they sell. I'm not really sure, but I was quite surprised how well this burned. Like, that burned longer than some Bath & Body Works candles I've had. 
it was it was pretty impressive this one is from chesapeake bay it's strength and energy pineapple and coconut and my friend sent this to me i'm really not sure where you get chesapeake bay is it target it smelled really nice it also burned really well it wasn't a very overpowering scent i'm not big on coconut i love pineapple but the combination was really relaxing but fresh and uh, I liked it. I, I gotta ask her where she got this because I do have one from DW Home. This brand, I know I get it at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I don't know if that's the only place it's sold, but this is Rose Quartz. And this is just one of the, the little ones. This smelled really nice. It burned really well. It burned right down to the bottom. I can't remember how much this is. I don't like price tags left on things. I immediately take price tags off. Like, immediately. So I never remember how much random things like this are, but it was Home Goods or TG Maxx, so it wasn't outrageous. But yeah, I would probably buy this one again. I like this. The last one is from Bath and Body Works. This is Champagne Toast, Bubbly Champagne, Sparkling Berries, and Juicy Tangerine. This burned really well. It has a beautiful pearly champagne container. I'm pretty sure I've also had this candle before. And it's a repurchase. I like this scent. It's crisp and fruity and I just I like how it smells. So this is a, another one. I have two makeup removers. The first is my favorite. The NYX Micellar Stripped Off Water. It's getting really difficult to find. Makes me kind of worried. The other one is from Botanics. This is All Bright with Hibiscus Micellar 3-in-1 Cleansing Solution. Hold over lashes, lids, and lips for a few seconds and wipe away. No need to rinse or rub. I disagree. I did feel like I had to kind of rub this off. I didn't really like this one that much and it's quite a bit more and you get less <laughs> than the NYX. So I wouldn't repurchase this one. This one wasn't my favorite. I just felt like I had to do a little more work to remove my mascara and I don't, I don't wear waterproof mascara and quite often I would wash my face the next morning in the shower and more mascara was still coming off of my eyelashes. So this wasn't my favorite. The Foaming Bath Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. This is one of our favorites. We love Dr. Teal's. You should know this if you've watched any of my videos. I love the Foaming Bubble Bath. This one especially is a favorite. It's a mild scent. It doesn't irritate my skin or my daughter's skin. It makes nice bubbles and the bubbles last. We're big fans of this. This giant bag of Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt. Um, it says bonus 20% more, but this is a 7.2 pound bag and the only other sized, the only other sizes of Epsom salts I've seen from Dr. Teal's are 3 pound bags, so that's 50% more. And this is the same price as the regular smaller bag, well, smaller but regular bag of Epsom salt, so it is such a good deal. I was so bummed because I had only purchased one of these and I ran out and I hadn't seen it at Walmart in months and months and months and I was there a couple weeks ago and they had this again and I bought I think three or four of them because it's five dollars and you're getting so much Epsom salt. They're unscented. They do dissolve very quickly. I just love, I just love these so much. So I was so excited to find more of them. Last bath thing is from Finchberry. This is Fizzy Salt Soak Rosy Posy. This was my like, bougie bath thing I bought I think last year with the 20% off sale from Ulta or 20% off coupon. This was okay. It smells very rosy. It's a very strong rose scent which I love. It wasn't life-changing. I thought it was nice but this was very expensive. I think this is $17. So I used it very sparingly. It took me a year to use it because I I used it very sparingly. And I just, I wouldn't really repurchase it unless it was on some sort of super sale. Um, it's a very pretty apothecary style jar and label and I do like that about it. I might try to keep this if I can take the label off because I do really like this jar. I did like it, but I probably won't repurchase it that often. All right, packets. The, this is a Freeman Beauty Cosmic Holographic Peel-Off Mask. I bought this at Walmart. It's just one of those fun iridescent peel-off masks. 
I didn't really notice it boosting my aura or glow at all. So, you know. This wasn't anything that I would seek out to repurchase, but it was a fun little mask to use. I had a sample of the Pixie Glow Tonic to Go Exfoliating Toner Pad. This was just one pad, so obviously one time use. The one time I used it, it was very nice. I want to try more Pixie skincare, and I feel like Pixie is... Maybe they always have, but I'm just, I know, I'm noticing that they seem to be gearing more towards skincare and coming out with some really interesting things. So I would definitely like to try more Pixie skincare, and I love like an exfoliating pad. That's, I love those. From Skin Iceland, this is the Hydro Cooling Firm, Hydro Cool Firming Face Gels for Smile Live. I'll just put them right here. I like the Skin Iceland face gels because they don't feel serum-y and they do feel so cooling. Everything I've tried from Skin Iceland feels so cooling, which immediately feels refreshing. And I think that makes me think it works better. I don't know if it does. It's I just used it one time and I smile a lot, so I'm going to have smile lines. It's not that big of a deal to me, but uh, I think those came in a kit and I just, you know, I just wanted to try. I just want to try. And then two of the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels that you wear under your eyes. Again, they feel cool and they're supposed to depuff. They're very comfortable to wear because they're not super serum-y like a sheet mask. They don't slide, they stay in place. And the cotton on the front is the softest thing ever. And I just want to sit here and do this when I'm wearing them, which probably defeats the purpose of wearing them. But they're very comfortable to wear. Toothpaste. Or gel anti-cavity fluoride toothpaste shimmer and shine very divine for my daughter and then the sensodyne pro enamel gentle whitening for moi and my husband this is my favorite i just love sensodyne a bath and body works fragrance mist the sweet escapes this is strawberry picnic this uh is our bathroom spray we usually just use a bath and body works body mist as a bathroom spray my daughter really gets into it. Uh, and I feel like we use this one very quickly. And I mentioned this in my last empties, I think. The one that was in there, we'd had in there forever. And this one, we just blew through it. So I don't know if something was wrong with this nozzle or something was wrong with that nozzle. And neither, neither seemed to be malfunctioning. But we just blew through this. So I don't know. it smelled good. It's very, it smells like strawberries. So then your bathroom smells like strawberries and poop. A whole bunch of things. Okay, first the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. Shea Sugar Scrub. I just for a second thought, is it Sugar Scrub? Because there's... Okay, anyway. Uh, lychee. Lychee. I've heard it both ways. And Plum. I love these scrubs. I'm going to go ahead and give it to uh, Tree Hut because these are cruelty free. I love uh, Bath and Body Works scrubs. But I really, really love these. And they now have uh, squeezy things. And I kind of hope they make their scrubs squeezy because that's my only complaint about these because I don't love potted products because I'm a big fat weirdo. That's just me. But I love these. They have a million scents. They have a new matcha and mojito scent or something. Give me all the matcha scented things. The Derma E, well, this isn't a shower thing, but whatever. The Derma E 2 in 1 Purifying Charcoal Mask with Marine Algae and Activated Charcoal. I really like this. It's very gentle, but it feels effective. My skin feels clean and purified when I use this. It does dry down, and I like the, the mud masks that dry down. Those are typically my favorite. I have another of these because they had sent me a couple of them. And uh, I will continue to use it. I really, really enjoyed it. The Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. Frothy Face Wash is the perfect name for this. It feels frothy. I, 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 there's no other way to describe it. It feels frothy and silky. Your skin, you feel like you're massaging liquid silk into your skin when you use this. It feels wonderful. It makes your skin feel so clean. I love checks and balances a lot. I 
don't think Origins is technically cruelty free. I love checks and balances. Uh, the Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub, another favorite. I love that this is a daily scrub that I can use. It's not uh, overly abrasive, but you can feel exfoliating happening. I really enjoy this. The Murad Hydration Prebiotic 4-in-1 Multi Cleanser. This is kind of a weird consistency because it was a little more of a milky cleanser. It didn't lather, um, but you know, I think it was nice when I used it. I didn't the fastest way for me to tell if I like or dislike something is if it does something negative to my skin, and this didn't. So, you know, long term, I can't really <laughs> can't really say, hey, yes, this was amazing because I, I only got to use it for a little bit of time, but it didn't do anything negative, so that's a plus. Body Shop Spiced Apple Body Wash. I'm not really sure how I came into possession of a spiced apple body wash because I don't like spiced or apple scented things, like at all. I didn't mind this, but it definitely smells like a Christmassy scent to me. It doesn't smell bad. I, I wouldn't probably repurchase it though. It's it's a little too um, it's a little too spicy smelling for me. But the body wash itself was really nice. It lathered nicely and it felt really clean. The other body wash is from Bath and Body Works. I'm trying. I'm looking right at the name and I'm trying to figure out what the name is. It's Bright Autumn Blooms with Pure Honey. They smell amazing. I have mentioned several times, I love anything that smells like honey. I just think honey is wonderful for eating or smelling. I only saw this around for a very limited time. I mean, I don't go into Bath and Body Works that often, but I pretty much only saw this the one time I went in. But I liked the scent and the honey and the combination. It was lovely. This is from Maple Holistics. This is their Silk 18 Shampoo for All Scalp. Types. I've used several Maple Holistics things in the past and I've enjoyed all of them. I love their Witch Hazel Toner. So good. It made my scalp feel very clean and it also made my hair very soft. It kind of smells like, um, like vanilla cookies a little bit. It's just made me want cookies so ultimately I would like it to not smell like cookies because that's why I don't like food scented things because then I'm hungry all the time. I couldn't smell the cookies like on my hair or anything, but I quite liked this. Um, it says that it contains 18 different silk amino acids to improve moisture retention capacity, moisture retention capacity, including alanine, glycine, and serine. I also think that this helped my dry scalp. You know I've been complaining about super dry scalp for like a year. And I didn't necessarily notice right away, but I was almost through the bottle and I was like, wait a second, I don't, my scalp is not as itchy as it has been. Is this, is this possible? So I'm crediting that shampoo. I don't know if that's accurate, but I am. Another hair thing is from Phyto Paris. This is the spray volume intense volumizing spray for fine hair leave-in. No, did not like this. First of all, it smells wretched. Not like anything you can describe, but it just smells horrible. Like a horrible hairspray. It's not a hairspray, but you know what I mean. And it also did nothing. It kind of made my hair feel crunchy. Not a fan of this. The uh, quilted oval cotton pads, you know. I have a baby Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. This is the purple one. I like this. I have a giant bottle that I'm trying to work through, but I wanted to finish the baby to feel more accomplished. I don't know. I do prefer the rose one, but the lavender one is nice too. The Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. This took me so long to go through. I know that I'm like the worst person in the world. I do like this. I can't see me spending $45 on a body cream. You know, it does smell like a very nice, rich, gourmand vanilla. That's what it smells like to me at least. I, don't th I do think the container's precious. I can't see me buying a full size one though. If I got a sample or you know got another little travel size, I think this came in a boxy charm. I would use it again, but I I can't see me spending that much on a body cream. Partly because I'm the worst at remembering to use body cream, so I'm not going to spend a lot of money on one when I know I won't remember to use it. And also, that's just like a lot. It's like $45. This is the 
Unwash hydrating mask restores oils, balances moisture, adds hydration, smooths and softens. This smelled really nice. This is a hair mask that you put on from root to tip and those are my favorites because some hair masks say, you know, just put it at the bottom half of your hair. No, I want the roots of my hair to be soft and luxurious as well. And I liked this. It smelled really nice. It made my hair feel um, soft, but it wasn't heavy. It didn't weigh it down. I would look into repurchasing this. Sample of an Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. And I might be insane. I might be insane because this is not a lot of product. But I feel like I saw a difference in my skin after maybe three uses of this. It was so weird. I thought this can't be this oil. Like I've only used this three times. This can't. This can't be the, uh, this. It smells very earthy. If you've ever been in an Aveda salon or an Aveda store, it smells like that. Very earthy but fresh. I liked this. I don't know how much this is. Probably a lot. But I think I liked this enough to. If they sold a mini, I would try the mini for sure. You know, give a little more chance to wow me. Cucumber melon hand sanitizer. It's cucumber melon. Mm. Oh, it's 1998. That's what cucumber melon is. Um, these we used for an art project, so those don't really count. I'm not going to count them towards empties but uh, we did use them. So this is a uh, Black Dahlia Lacquer, Bella Luna, which I don't think, cause I don't think they've been out for a very long time, and a Sally Hansen polish, we use those. I have an empty cuticle oil. This had Northern Star Polish, Rose something from a polish pickup. I bought empty cuticle pens because this is my preferred method to use cuticle oil. I basically won't remember to use them if they're not in a pen because I have issues. But they're, you can't reuse them. They say you can, but when you take them apart, they break. So, whatever. The um, Glisten and Glow Summer Sorbet Cuticle Oil. Very summery, very fresh. I like her cuticle oils. An e.l.f. Concealer brush. This is my preferred cleanup brush. I'm using an essence one right now, but I really like this. It's just getting a little, little frayed out at the ends. The Wet n Wild Mega Last Saving Base. This was nice because it was kind of ridge filling, not completely, but it was a little bit thicker for helping with ridges a little bit. Um, because I have very ridgy nails. And then the Glisten and Glow Matte Top Coat. I love this matte top coat. It is super matte and it makes things look matte instantly. Um, not that it dries instantly, but you can see the matte effect almost instantly and I love that. I do have another one of these. Oh yes, the last nail thing is from Moonshine Mania. This is one of her acetone additives. This is the Fruit Loops uh, Soothe Criminal. I am going to call it Smooth Criminal at some point. I just, I'm going to. I'm sorry. It's Smooth Criminal. Um, you add half of one of these to 6 to 8 ounces of acetone, and it helps nourish your cuticles and nails. So you're, you know, Especially if you do a lot of swatching or nail polish removal, you're not stripping your nails all the time and drying them out with straight up acetone. Okay, and the rest are makeup things. Uh, we have two setting sprays. These were both used as mixing mediums. Uh, the NYX Matte Finish. This is a little mini of this. I like this. I'll probably buy this again for use as a mixing medium. I didn't try it for setting my face. The Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting. This I just used for a mixing medium because I ran into this guy and uh, the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. I think that this did help fill in pores. I don't know if it mattified that much, but I, I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but I like how it felt uh, when I did use it, on, especially on my T-zone, to fill in some pores. It was pretty nice for that. And I do have another skincare thing. This is the Derma E Firming DMAE Eye Lift. I didn't really notice firming, per se. But, you know, I'm doing an eye cream and that is 
a big enough step for me. So I feel like this is something that I'm not going to see immediate results with that. This is a very long-term product, at least in my opinion. Maybe that's wrong. This is the Juicy Couture Rosé. Very nice. I do like Juicy Couture perfumes. Oh, they just... I really like how they smell. And then this one is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. It smells real good too. And then the rest are mascaras. We have the Pure Big Look with Argan Oil. Um, this is okay. I didn't like the wand on this. It was very uh, short and spiky. Not a big fan of that. Uh, the mascara was, you know, okay, but I, I, I really didn't like the wand. The Lancome Sills Booster Mascara Primer. I kind of like this. I have another one that I will use up. I won't repurchase this because it's Lancome, but uh, I do think that this added length and... Um, volume to my eyelashes when I used it so I was cool with that one the Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes mascara I don't know man this just didn't really I liked this in combination with other mascaras I would actually use this one and then the essence false lashes extreme volume like I would use these a lot together but I just felt like this wasn't full enough. I like the brush on it, but I, the mascara just didn't wow me. Which is probably good because I'm sure that's a very expensive mascara. Oh, this is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I do not like this. There's still mascara in here. I really don't like this wand. It's one of those cone-shaped, short bristle, rubber brushed wands. Not a fan of that at all. The full, Pure Fully Charged Mascara. I love this. I have several of these. I have a couple open. I like the wand. It's a natural bristle wand. I like how black the mascara is. Yes, I like this guy. And then the last one is the Essence False Lashes Mascara Extreme Volume and Curl. It has a curved wand, but it's a natural bristle wand. Um, it was very black. I think it added nice length. Nothing keeps my lashes curled. We've talked about this a thousand times. Nothing keeps my lashes curled. I, I don't fault the mascara for that. That's just my sad lashes. But yeah, I like this. This was, it reminds me of a big marker. Like I wanna, like, but yeah, I really like this. I would probably buy this again. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did you finish anything awesome in April? And uh, would you prefer monthly empties videos? Or do you like the longer empties video that's, you know, two months worth of product? I had a um, caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino today from Starbucks and I think I'm coming down from like the intense sugar rush of that. And I think I'm having a pretty intense sugar crash right now, so that's what's happening. Have a good weekend um, if you're watching this on Friday. And, uh... Do you have a delicious margarita recipe for Cinco de Mayo? Because that's Sunday. I do love tacos. Mm. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or video suggestions, I'm always excited to hear those. And thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe just like do it. We'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.